Tony Stratcher Adventure. Welcome back to this, uh, the second part of this two-part video on our chicken uh, run build. Uh, I'm going to leave a link up here, and then I'm also going to put a link in the description below for part one. In part one, we went ahead and, you know, we took the little 264 uh, by TYM and we dug all the holes for the, you know, the post holes, and we got the stringers put up on some of the stringers put up, and we got some of the wire put up. And uh, let's get started today on the part, uh, part two. All right, we're back out here at the chicken run today. We're going to finish up uh, fencing it in, putting a roof on top. So we, we got a lot of chicken hawks out here. So we're going to finish, uh, put a, a nice roof on top of it or a nice wire top on it. That's what we're going to put on it. So let me show you what we're talking about. All right, now that we got that out of the way, this is what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to cut all these posts off after we get, everything's going to look like this with the post down the side here. So we're going to do this all the way around and the door is going to be back at the back here. And then, like I said, we're going to cut all these posts off even with the top and then run some runners across the top through here. And then we're going to put chicken wire again, or this is a, like a, a construction mess. It's galvanized. We're going to put that up here on top so the chicken hawks can't get in. We have a lot of chicken hawks around here and they, they, look, they look at our chickens. All right, so if you'll go down, you man, need to screw first. yeah, if you go down on that end, I'll start it with this one. Let me put a start and screw in. Just kind of get it level looking, and that'd be good enough. Are you not recording this? Yeah, it's recording right now. Get. Okay, I need you to. All right, let's check the level. You got it? Yeah. And put on it if you can just put it up under it so you can see it. I just had a bee fly in here. Oh. All right, we've got the sides, the bottom piece up. You can see it, it's going downhill, but we have to follow the grade of the, uh, of the dirt. And we're gonna put some uh, hardware cloth out on the side so that uh, critters can't get up under here. Predators, I guess you'd be the better word. Critters, as uh, as the Clampets would say. Critters can't get up under here and get our chickens. And then all of these will that are, are pretty close to perfectly level. So from the road, it's going to have a nice appearance of being in level and neat and orderly. And we're building it strong enough that up here, sometimes we're going to be able to, or in the future, we may end up putting a roof on this. But you know, like a, an actual metal roof uh, with a with a, a gable in and everything but for right now uh, it's just going to be chicken wire and so they got somewhere to move a little bit more freely now originally this thing was going to be 16 by 16 but because of the septic lines we ended up not uh, going that way Oh. 
Ugh. All right, don't push. I gotta go down this way. Heavy. Right, hold. Okay, we're coming back after lunch now, and this is what we got done. We've got all the sideboards up, the stringers up. We've got uh, the, the centerpiece up. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run some boards crossways here. Uh, and the reason we're gonna do that is so that the, the wire won't sag as we put the wire over the top. On this side of the post will be on this side. On this side of the post will be on this side. That makes a lot of sense. Alright, so I got to see. Alright, here's a little a little look at what we got done. We got the top on. Next thing we're gonna do is cut off the tops of those four by fours. Welcome back to day three for us. Uh, we had to stop yesterday. It got brutally hot. We, we started working after lunch because uh, we had some stuff to do in the morning. And uh, Lord have mercy, it got brutal hot with high humidity. As you can see right here, we've got this side wired uh, and we've got on the bottom done all the way around to here. Uh, we do have the door opening. We're gonna build a door today as well. So it's, it's gonna go right back here at the back. Uh, we'll finish up wiring here at the front, uh, top and bottom. Then we're going to cut the tops of these posts off with a chainsaw and then run the wire across because we, you know, now we've got this done. So it's strong. All right, we've got the back side done. We're getting ready to uh, do the last piece across the back of the long side, and then we're gonna do a door.
queso. That thing is way too heavy to do stuff like this. I need me one of them little bitty ones. Here is the top of the chicken pen, and you can see we've got it pretty well supported up. We're going to run the wire. Let's see if I can get my finger out there. We're going to run the wire a long ways like this right here. Must be to have a really good mind. Gizmo. Say hi, Gizzy, Gizzy, Gizzy. Hi, Gizzy. What are you doing, Chancy? You watching chicken? You watching chickens, buddy? Chicken's watching you too. Look at there. Yeah, they were both watching each other. You want one? We got the last bit of the stuff picked up, uh, or not quite all of it. We got a few more things we're cleaning up here and put on the front of the tractor. We're gonna carry that off. So here's the the little chicken house here with the uh, nesting boxes on the back, and then you can see the new run that we've added on. And let's let's carry you inside. Tanya got it. I want you to look at this plate. This, these chickens eat better than a lot of people do. She does this every day. That's out of the garden. I got strawberries. Let me zoom in on that. Show them what you got there. Look at that. Come on. Come on, girls. Like, hey, it's hot. I ain't coming out in the sun. We got we got to get shades over this thing. We got, we got one rooster out of the deal. We said we were going to keep no roosters, but these are um, yummy, yummy. the one, uh, what do you call that rooster? Lavender. Lavender. They're lavender rooster. They don't crow loud. I mean, they're, they're like the weirdest crow, but they, they're not very loud, so they're not going to really bother people in our neighborhood. That's a saving grace, because if it hadn't hadn't been that way, we're going to call it dumpling. Look at I these yeah, I guess we're going to keep him. As long as he don't get loud. He's not very loud. He's not very vocal. Here you go. Look at that. It's like a daggum buffet for them. Alright, so while they're eating there, let's let me give you a zoom back here and let you see everything. I'm doing the cam work so you guys know it's going to suck. So she's got the, got the lid up here on it. Bring the lid. Got the uh, wire up on the top so nothing can get in. I climbed up all over the top of this. We could put a roof on this at some point if we want to, and we probably will. That way, if we ever sell the house or move, we can take, take and turn this into like a little barn and tear all the chicken stuff down because not everybody wants chickens. Uh, however, it's a pretty, uh, uh, according to the people at like uh, Tractor Supply and Rural King, chickens right now are hard to keep in stock door that we uh, put through yesterday from the little chicken house to the actual run and it's nothing fancy but it really works good and nothing's going to get through it somebody's down somebody's at my feet who's, who's, who, who's down here at my feet look at here she named all her chickens what do you think about that